Now today we celebrate South Africa's rich culinary heritage with a citrusy twist on a beloved classic orange malva pudding. This recipe will warm your heart and satisfy your sweet tooth with a burst of orange zest in every bite. Chef Jay, South Africa, malva pudding, Two same kids, WhatsApp we group. We are one. You know, I don't speak a lot of Afrikaans, but what I will say, Akis malva ye malva. Ekis okay, malva for malva. Let me try that again. Ekis malva for malva. I friend. <laughs> I think stick I'm to the butchery, English. Butchery, butchery, <laughs> but this is, this is Hall of Fame kind of stuff when it comes to South African desserts. You know, it's, it's loved not even locally, worldwide. In fact, Art Smith, who used to be Oprah's personal chef, made this for her. I love that. So let's get into it. I mean, we're switching it up today. We're making it an orange version because I just love the citrus notes. And we're using our Clover Crush 100% fruit juice blend today. And we're going for the orange flavor just to balance um, the, the, the flavors in here and, and complement the orange. Yeah. So I'm going to put half of it into one saucepan and half of it into Another. the other one. So what is in the first saucepan that you place? So what's in the first saucepan is basically what we're using for the batter. So in here I've got milk and butter that has been melted down with a bit of sugar. I've just added my clover crush and then I'm going to add this into my eggs and caster sugar that I've, that I've already beaten and creamed together until they, they're nice and fluffy. And what I love about um, clover crush is that it's enriched with vitamins A, C and D. So every sort of bottle, every sip, every glass that you pour is enriched with vitamins that are good for your immune system and your overall, overall well-being. So that's why we're adding it in today. For myself right now, we are focusing on a dessert dish when mm -hmm. incorporating our clover crush. But honestly, whether I placed it in my overnight oats or whether I add it to my sticky orange chicken, the Clover Crush orange flavor specifically is extremely versatile and I love a versatile queen when it comes to our ingredients. No, we love a versatile queen and that is exactly what this recipe calls for because you can add any flavor. You could choose a different flavor if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. You can literally add any fruit that you wanted to. It's a, it's a really you know, forgiving recipe. So into this bowl, I'm going to add Add some orange zest, some freshness, and then into my flour, I've added some salt and some baking soda. <laughs> and then I'm going to pull <laughs> this quickly into my, into my dish over here. The wet mixture. The wet mixture. And, and then, then on the second pan that you also mm -hmm. added the orange juice, what's in here? So what is Malva without a sauce, babe? Ah. So the iconic or the, the sort of the the quintessential part of a malva is that as soon as it comes out of the oven, you pour over the sauce and it, it really, it's like a self-sourcing situation, which yeah. is, is divine. It's like so saucy and delicious. So in there, I also had some cream, some butter, some sugar, and then of course the clover, clover crush. Okay, cool. So the syrup that you pour over the malva pudding when it does come out of the oven is almost mirroring the same um, mixture that you had in your initial saucepan. Precisely. So it's, it's a similar ingredients, just a different process. You're minusing the flour, so it's a sauce that you pour on. You can cook it down, you can serve it on the side if you wanted to. Brilliant. And what I love about something like a malva is that you can put it into little individual ramekins. You can cook it in a larger ramekin so 180 degrees if you're using small ramekins for about 15 minutes if you're doing a bigger bigger one it's obviously going to take longer so it just depends on the size that you're cooking but the recipe's on our website so they can head over there and check it out done and dusted we're celebrating heritage day we're celebrating being south african and if you would like to do so in your kitchen with dessert please do head over to afternoonexpress.co.za but stay tuned because after the break we unpack the role of traditional regalia and heritage To enjoy every drop of goodness from the freshest fruit full of vitamins. Crush it real good. Clover Crush, your daily goodness. Also in delicious new nectar.